More than 20 years after two Grass Valley teenagers were murdered, the man convicted of killing them is walking free tonight. Sam Strange was released on supervised parole in Alameda County over the weekend. New tonight, CBS 13's Heather Jansen with why his release has the victim's family with each other. In this small California town, Strange is a household name. Not because of the city's unique charm, but because of memories some people don't want to remember. That never happened here before. Like the day more than two decades ago when two 16 year old girls became victims of a gruesome murder. She was funny, she was smart, she was magnetic. Amber Raymond remembers all too well that day back in 1994 when her sister's best friend, Chrissy Campbell, and her own sister, Don Donaldson, were killed. A young Grass Valley man, Samuel Strange, was later found guilty in this grisly crime. Now, 25 years later, Strange's home is no longer one behind bars. My sister and her friend never got the chance at half of what he's going to experience. A spokesperson for the California Department of Corrections says the now 44-year-old Strange was granted parole back in August, and Governor Newsom took no action, thus effectively setting Strange free just last week. Back in August, Chrissy's family spoke up on Strange's behalf, wanting to give him a second chance, believing his story where Strange says he only witnessed the murders and helped to move the bodies. He says two others did the crime, yet for his role, he does take a responsibility. At his most recent hearing, Strange said, quote, I don't think I deserve anything. I'm asking for mercy. And at this same hearing, Chrissy's sister, Wendy, advocating for him, saying she, quote, wholeheartedly believes it. And that her sister would likely feel the same way, saying, I don't think she would want him to be here forever. Which, to me, takes a lot of strength to forgive that. That strength, Amber says she doesn't know if she will ever have. CDCR says Strange was released just five days ago. We did reach out to the governor's office to ask why he chose not to take action in this case, and we did not get a response to that question.